Okay guys, so it's that time of year for old drum, so I'm just going to go over how I tie my old drum rigs, or Owen Lupton rigs is what some people will call them. So I'm just going to go over first the tools that I use. Obviously my old trusty, uh, rusty <laughs> crimpers, and then I use live bottom 50 pound mono, um, any 50 pound mono will work. Uh, VMC circle hooks, these are 8.0. We're going to compress the barb on this. You have to compress or remove the barb if it's over a 4-0 circle hook. Um, scissors, it's important to have sharp scissors um, so when you cut the line you don't leave any burrs on the end of the line. Aluminum sleeves, uh, the proper size aluminum sleeves for 50 pound mono is 0.8. I'm just going to use Bill Fisher uh, 0.8 aluminum sleeves and then any types of beads will work. I'm just going to use the Sea Striker tri beads. Okay guys, so keep in mind there are you know, laws out this time of year for old drum fishing. You have to have a certain type of rig, and that's what I'm going to tie up right here. Uh, at the end, you'll see a picture of the specific types of rigs that you're allowed to use. Okay, so we're going to start with about 12 inches of 50 pound mono. First, what we're going to do is we are going to tie the, we're going to tie a snell knot to our 80 circle hook. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to run the line from the front of the hook through the back. See from the front eye through the back here. And you're going to leave a, a tag end off the back and then you're going to hold it tight along the back shaft of the hook there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this front tag and you're going to wrap it seven times, seven or eight times. Five, six, seven. And you can see you get seven tight wraps or eight tight wraps and you want them good and tight and you don't want them to overlap each other and then you're going to take the tag end the long tag end and you're going to run it from the back through the front the opposite way and then you're going to just hold the hook pull that tight and you'll see hopefully you can see um, how that comes out and you got a tag end back here you can cut it as short as you want I don't worry about cutting them too short because these old drum aren't going to worry about that Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started on the aluminum sleeve. We're going to put the aluminum sleeve, we're going to run that around the line, and I'm just going to run that all the way down towards the hook. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the beads, put those next, th through the line, put the line through the bead, and then what we are going to do at that point is we are going to run the weight. And then what we're going to do is run the next bead. And lastly, you will run a barrel swivel. Run the line through the barrel swivel. Okay, so I'm going to go over the setup real quick before we finish everything up here. So we have the obviously the hook that we tied on with a snell knot. Then we have an aluminum sleeve. Then we have a bead. Then I'm using a three ounce egg weight. Then we have another bead and then we have the barrel swivel. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the end here, we're gonna run it back through everything a second time other than the barrel swivel. So we're gonna run it back through the bead. Okay, I'm gonna run it. I usually pull these lines pretty much tight to each other so it's easier to send it through. We're going to send it through the egg weight again. And we're going to send it through the second bead again. And then we're going to send it back through the aluminum sleeve again. And it's important to use sharp scissors on these because if not, you'll get burrs at the end and it'll be hard to get them through the aluminum sleeve. Okay, so now what I like to do is I just kind of take that aluminum sleeve and I bring it up kind of tight here to everything else. And then I grab the, put my hand through the hook here, and I'll pull everything a little bit tight to start bringing that, that in. Now keep in mind, the rule is six inches. You can't have more than six inches between the weight and the hook. And that's in the regulations that I'll show you at the end here. Okay, so you'll see I leave myself a little bit of a tag coming out of the, out of the aluminum sleeve. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my crimpers. I'm going to center the aluminum sleeve and my crimpers, just like this, okay, and 
And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna crimp it down. All right. And you can see it kind of mushrooms it up a little bit on both sides. That's the proper way of doing it. And that is the complete setup there. So again, you have, uh, you have barrel swivel, you have bead, you have three ounce egg weight, you have another bead, and then you have the aluminum sleeve, and then you run about six inches down, and then I have an 8-0 circle hook. And then of course the barb, you can, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the barb is compressed. Um, so that is fully within regulations, uh, the old drum rig or Owen Lupton rig. If you have any questions, let me know. And there should be uh, all the details in the description. Tight lines, guys.